Welcome to Rehash. On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what happens today. Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Call Me Yummy and you're watching Rehash. Enjoy. Thank you so much to Call Me Yummy for submitting today's Rehash introduction. If you guys want to be really cool like her, make sure to open the description. Don't worry about it, of course. And so you guys can submit your Rehash introduction, where of course, we'll talk about you guys towards the end of Rehash videos. Now there is something we have to discuss. Really? Okay. You were gone for a couple of days, and there are some people in the comments below who have been theorizing as to why you have been gone. Alright guys, so I know Anthony told me not to tell you guys, but unfortunately Anthony locked me in the closet. And uh, I, I just, he just, he just let me out. So you heard it here first, people in the Freedom Family. Zach was in the closet, but he's out now. Okay, okay, I, I set myself up for that one. So nonetheless, you had doozy type whatevers. I did have a couple of doozy okay. type whatevers. First things first, I wanted to talk about Snoop Dogg, who was recently caught with four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. And the Italian government would not let him out of the country with all of that cash. What's really cool about no. that? Go ahead. Let's, go ahead. No, it, it just blows my mind. Of course, of all the amount of money he could have, he could have millions. <laughs> it was $420,000. Of course! Yeah. So, now, uh, he says that the money was to be used to pay his, his band and his entourage mm -hmm. for this tour that he was on. Um, but, again, like you said, $420,000! Um, so, that's interesting. I'm curious if you've ever seen Snoop Dogg uh, perform live. If you've not, who have you seen perform live? And then you wanted to talk about? You know, I'm actually just curious. How much money have you ever been carrying around at one time? In U.S. dollars? Or? Yeah. I mean, like, in the Freedom Family. Like, what's the most amount of money you guys have ever, you know, carried around at one single time? Ooh. Like not much. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not four hundred twenty thousand yeah. dollars. I work on YouTube, people. Yeah, <laughs> and then I went and talked to the Freedom Family about the first bilateral hand transplant on a child. Now, now, now the thing about it is, you know, this is extraordinary because this was done on a kid named Zion. Uh, when he was about two or three years old, unfortunately, he had a horrible infection that caused both his his hands and his feet to be removed. Now. We, we've seen many cases like this in the past, that there are tens of thousands of people in the world that unfortunately don't have their limbs. But what amazed me is the video double, you guys can watch it, is Zion, he, he, he's such a mature little kid. I mean, and he talks about all of the things that he would do when he gets his hands. And, and you know, he would talk about how he wanted to climb on the monkey boards, but unfortunately he never could. And it, it just blows now, my mind. Now, of course this is an amazing story, yeah. and this is a very brave young man. Yeah. But I couldn't help but notice while they were doing this is the fact that initially when they attached the hand, it was a very pale, almost, yeah. you know, ghostly white hand. And I was expecting, well, this, you know, this poor kid who it happens to be like African American or, or of African descent of right. some sort, you know, is going to have, you know, white hands, like, you know, which... I mean, it's better than no hands, right, but, you know, I thought there would be a skin color, you know, change. But no, as blood, you know, moved into the hands, like, they were of very similar skin tone. That amazed me. Anyway, if you guys want to go watch the video, if you guys want to have a sad moment, I cried, like, the whole time. It's the happiest but, sad yeah, moment I've yeah, had in a Exactly, but before we do wrap up the story, I, I just wanted to say, be grateful that you, you have vision to be able to watch the sunrise over the horizon. The fact that you have your limbs, the fact that you're able to respond and, and hear and, and see, and it's just a miracle. It's amazing, so try to never take that for granted. But, yeah. but nonetheless, if you guys want to go watch that, link will be down below by the description. Did you add another newsy type whatever? I do have one more hey. newsy type whatever. Okay. North Korea's Kim Jong Moon was recently awarded a Global Statesmanship Award. Hey. Now, this is after he has told America to, appear, pr to prepare for war. Yeah. So, this is a uh, very interesting timing. This is, um, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this story. There is a full article linked down below. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think about this award, what you think about Kim Jong-un. I mean, was it given out of intimidation or being scared? Um, or? I think it's probably best if people read the article. Right. Because anytime we start talking about, you know, North Korea, Kim Jong-un, I would seriously hate for rehash to, to be, be the kind cause of, like, of. Well, like. You know how there was a big stink over that movie, The Interview? Yeah. I don't want us to be the next The Interview. <laughs> right, I got you. Love you, Kim Jong-un. 
Freedom Family, in the interest of time, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip over the comments section. The hell the we are, man! It's been a few days since we covered comments. We have to do comments, right, Freedom Family? We gotta do comments. We oh, do oh, fine! If you say so! Alright, to the comments! Let's go. And now, time for the comments. Yeah! Comment number one comes from me, Ahead TV, who says, I love Breaking Bad! I have to say, I also, I agree. In fact, uh, they started filming uh, season six uh, just the other day. Yeah, so a little hit Freedom Family, he just started watching it. I, actually, I, actually I, I, I finished the entire everything. Are you serious? And I'm waiting on the new stuff. All right. Yeah. So comment number two comes from Kaiser Hurston. And we've actually spotlighted him in the past. If you guys want to go see his spotlight, make sure to go watch some of the other rehash episodes. He says, yeah. Zach, where are you, hombre? We need you to tear the description open. I, you murder that. It's, all right, it's here, ombre. It's, all right. There's no H. All right, hombre. Now, here's oh, the truth. No, ombre. You're, you're, whatever. I, I went to rehab, guys. That's actually where I was over the weekend. Um, sugar rehab. Yeah, sugar rehab. Unfortunately, you know, YouTube has contacted us, and they asked that we stop ripping the description open. Um, yeah. They asked us kindly, and of course, we have to abide by the, the terms of service. So that's where I was over the weekend. I was being rehabilitated. Uh, I, I actually no longer rip descriptions. I actually, I, I treat them with kindness, and I open them gently. Okay, so comment number three right. comes from Deb Walls, who says, Was the cyclist hit from Alabama? I can't find the article link in the comments. And I, she knows a young man who uh, was from Alabama doing this for charity. Uh, no. Um, mom. Mom! Oh, that's your... That, yeah, that's that's my mom. She watches the show. Okay. <laughs> um, and no, the guy was not from Alabama, and no, it was not uh, that guy. Um, yeah, it just goes to show, I mean, you know, moms are always watching. All the time. Even while I'm talking about legalization of marijuana, and, and then you had another comment type of thing or whatever. Yeah, so transitioning into comment number four, the last comment of the day comes from Diamond Dog HD. That's where you guys' usernames are, are kind of unique. Diamond Dog HD, that's pretty cool. He says, I think Anthony is a vampire who killed Zack and George to make Riash even better than before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm leaving now. Take your dang pillow with you, too! Oh. So Zach and I were actually going to try to harmonize and say time to do the partner, but we realized neither one of us can sing. Yeah. So time for the partner. As per usual, thank you so much to Call Me Yummy for submitting today's rehash introduction. As we mentioned in the beginning, guys, if you want to submit a rehash introduction where we spotlight you like we are now, just to open the description, you guys can make a rehash introduction and we will spotlight you in a meaningful way. So nonetheless, let's dive into Call Me Yummy. So she is a Minecraft YouTube content creator who produces content around Sky Factory. She just did a Facebook reveal, she does uh, update videos, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. Now I wanted to first dive into her logo and banner. Now, it's something that we actually talk about quite a lot. Something about branding. It's such a huge issue on YouTube. Some people who are, you know, gaming related, they don't have gaming banners. And, you know, normally like when somebody comments and they hover over your name, they're like, oh, he doesn't do gaming, I'm not going to subscribe. So it's very important if you're a YouTube content creator to do something relevant to what you're doing. If you're Call of Duty, do Call of Duty. And I, I love the fact that, you know, everything in this banner screams my yes. from the font. To um, to the graphical um, elements, the the cake, the swords, Sword, yeah, um, it, it's just it just screams Minecraft. And yeah. you know, someone could pro possibly make the observation that you know it, it may not be the best. It could be more professional, but. I don't care about those people because I love this. Call me yummy, you're awesome. And then for the most part, your thumbnails are improving. Now, if you look at your older thumbnails to now, it's a very huge difference. Very stark yes. contrast. Yeah, exactly. No, something I cannot stress enough, guys, is never use too many words. You don't have to use words in the description to convey your message. If I mean, you get to a point where you can't make out the text in your thumbnails when it's at about 25% size, yes. It's too much. Yeah, that's something that a lot of YouTube content creators, even myself, had a huge issue on. When you guys are making thumbnails, whether it's in Microsoft Paint, Adobe Photoshop, or- The what, GIMP? What, GIMP, hey, even GIMP. Or the new future in TubeBuddy, where you guys the can make- The future? Yeah, the future. Not, not the future, the, the future. The future. There you right, go. I say it right? Where you guys can make thumbnails. Taking consideration that just because it's big when you're making it, 
doesn't mean that everybody's gonna be able to see it because the thumbnails get shrank. Is shrank a word? Shrank and shrunk. It, it is now yeah. that the thumbnails get shrank to super, super small sizes. So, you know, try to use big Minecraft characters or whatever it is you can do. Um, I think that pretty much. Oh, uh, last but not least, I really think that you would do well to have a designated channel trailer. Yes. Just saying. Um, because I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at your channel. I see a lot of reasons to subscribe, but it would be nice if you were to address potential subscribers and let us know who you are, what you're doing, you know? Yeah. yeah. So that pretty much wraps that up, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that means it's time to end the episode. Yeah, but you guys will see me again tomorrow, man. I'm, I'm back for... It's all about you now? No, 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 but I'm going to be back oh. tomorrow unless you kill me tonight oh, so, because you're a vampire. Wait a minute. Are, are you going to do three episodes without me now? Because, I mean, I'd, be, I'd like to date a couple of times. <laughs> I can try. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section. No, 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 don't sign me up for that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, friend family. Boo, boo. I balls on your blog. Yep, and I'm leaving against you guys. Waiting for some shots.